Hey guys, it's another day uh, with Spoot from Fort Misery Gaming playing video games, Ceno Alice to be specific. So uh, a couple of things have happened. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the power packs that came in the newest update and sort of where they place. Do you need them? Do you not? Um, for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and preface this by this is all entirely gauged on if your time is worth a certain amount of money. There are some packs that are very, very good, and then there are some packs that are kind of meh, unless you just don't want to spend the time. So uh, take that first up. So let's go look at the monies. All right, so we still have the Nightmare of the Weapon uh, up. Uh, I picked up the other class, so no big deal there. But here's where we start. So uh, $12 gets you 148 crystals and 7 SR upgrade swords. That's usually enough to upgrade a SR from uh, 0 to 60, and it gets you almost entirely the way to a 0 to 80 L. So not terrible, but you get the AXP quest four or five times a day, and that's usually enough. So like 148 crystals, let's take a look at that. So... That's about what you would pay for crystals and a vial. So if you would rather get experience with it, if that's what you're purchasing anyway, it's not too bad. Like, I picked one up because I picked up some weapons that I had to sort of mass get ready before Guild Wars. But this one's kind of... Like, this one and the armor one are mostly meh. Like, if you don't get the time to actually grind out the... Gorilla mission for the XP for the weapons, it's fine. But if you do anything else, it's... Like, if you hit at least three of them a day, it's pretty nonsensical. Unless you're buying gems at the $12 pack anyway, in which case, it's fine. It's not the greatest thing. Uh, the same thing for the armor one. The shield SRs are fine. Uh, they're not great. Same thing, if you're buying gems anyway, that's an okay value because that's what they cost normally and you're getting a bonus. The upgrade tablets. Those are the nightmare pieces. These are arguably the better value of the three, mostly because, um, especially considering everybody's pulling Eris, so that's crazy. Um, you don't get a lot of these outside of the Guild Wars and some of the metal shops, so having a couple extra to max out a nightmare that you may have just picked up and get some extra crystals. This is out of the top three. This is easily the most usable one, but still kind of on the fence about. Um, this is where things get kind of nutty. So you get 354 crystals and 774. So you get seven swords, seven shields, four upgrade tablets. But what does 28.99 get you? So for 24.99, you get 317 crystals. <clears throat> So this one gives you 354, so comparable. So if you were really digging and you just want to yank a multi, this is probably your best value across the board. Um, not too bad. Um, the evolution materials for your gear, there's not enough of it to really worry about, so I wouldn't. Like, that one's kind of mediocre at best. Uh, this is where things start to get kind of enticing. So, the ratio of stamina to scales on the intermediate and advanced evolution, weapon evolution missions are not good. Um, shackles you get pretty decently, eyes you get pretty decently, scales, since you need 40 of them, have a really abysmal drop rate. So, depending on if you need some crystals and you kind of want to swing into some weapons, like, I bought the fire one because I had to you know, do a, uh, a weapon before Guild War and I didn't have the time to do otherwise. So, like, these are pretty good value for 12 bucks. Like, I'm not too mad at those. Uh, this is your Nightmare Evolution one. If you want to turn one of your Nightmares from SR to L real, real fast, this is pretty good. This is probably the better of the, uh, the values out of these in any case. So, <clears throat> long story short... These are fine. They're not particularly amazing, but you have to sort of judge how much time are you using versus, like, free farming. Like, if you think this will cut a couple hours off your free farm and you're like, fuck $12, you do you, baby. I don't care. 
I ain't gonna tell you how to live your life. I'm just giving you my opinion. Although, you know, that's 12 bucks. You go, you know, get some pizza and shit. So I, I mean, I don't know, man. You live your life, baby. Um, so the power packs are fine. They're not amazing. Uh, gauge them carefully. Like, if you need an immediate boost that coincidentally has some crystals attached to it, you will shoot up pretty quick with any particular one of these, especially with the Nightmare Tablets and the Upgrade. Because going from an SR Nightmare to an L Nightmare is usually a net game of anywhere from two to 6,000, or two to 4,000 uh, power overall. So you got to kind of gauge it where you need. Um, the Although the, the weapon evolution ones are particularly good, the water, wind, and fire ones, you might want to pick one of those up in general. Um, especially because the crystal value on it is almost the same as the $12 pack, but being able to just have those when you need them is really good. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of stamina and refreshes trying to get scales. Like, I've gotten 10 shackles in the time it took me to get 40 scales, which is crazy. Um, but that's pretty much it for the power packs. There's not really much else to be said about them, being 100% honest. Like, I would lean away from... The upgrade materials, except for the Nightmare Tablets, unless you plan on spending the $12 to get those anyway. And if you're going to do that, spend the 30 to get the big tab. But, eh, like, don't be too concerned. They're, uh, they're usable, and you can kind of pick and choose the specific use you need, which is fine. But don't, like, beat yourself up over it. It's, it's just not, it's not worth that. So, all right, that's Boot. From Fort Misery Gaming, uh, we've got the Discord link finally updated. You'll see it on the UI to my left in the video, and we also have it in the description. Um, we are also working with Elite Gaming still, so the Discord link is in there as well. So if you're looking for a guild, they are always shopping for people. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You guys have a good night, or day, or wherever it is, wherever you are. <laughs>